billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Happy day, I'm Glue! <laughs> and welcome to the back to school special. I'm starting fresh, I'm going back to school, and I'm gonna try to figure out a new life path. This is called High School 101. From everything from socializing to partying to learning, uh, high school wasn't my strongest suit, so we're going back. The teacher's got a baseball bat, he says you must pass by any means necessary. So I guess I'm gonna cheat? What the hell is wrong with these kids? They look scared. Oh, there's the punk. There's the teacher, the baseball bat. We're about to see what it's like to be in the life of a cheater. We are starting fresh, starting new, and we're all gonna graduate with little scrolls in our hands. Okay, you over here? Do a little searching in your phone. Go, 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 we only have a minute and 28 seconds. You gotta find out who Margaret Thatcher is. You gotta find out what Blitzkrieg is. You gotta find out the answers, all of them. Go, do a little whispering, bud. Okay, he's got the answer too. Teacher, go away. Go away, teacher. We're facing possible- No, no, don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare, don't you dare! No! Expelled! Fail! Everybody fails! Actually, the two guys up front, they get A's. Don't rat on them for cheating, because you all would have cheated anyway. See, I'm this guy in the back. So this guy's gotta do his research, so I can get those answers all the way back here. I don't know how I'm gonna get the answers from back here, but we're trying. We're whispering. Did you know that blueberries are fruit? I didn't know that. Back here? Raise your hand. Uh, Keep him distracted. Uh, we gotta do some whispering up here. Yes, 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 yes! Okay, now, this guy's gonna send a paper plane. Okay, now, we found out the aftermath of the French Revolution. Do you know Mary Antoinette really liked cake? I don't know if that's the answer. Let's go! Oh, the teacher's walking out! I don't know why he would do that. I did it! We did it! We passed! We're all going to Harvard! We're probably gonna fail when we get there because we cheated, but you know what? We got there. Perfect. Best cheater ever. Proud of yourself? Not really. But hey, we're trying something new today. This is back to school, baby. Since we did so well on our test, our parents are really, really proud. I feel a little ashamed about this, but they bought us a scooter. Now we can pick up some hot babes at eight. But first, we gotta get our driver's license or our learner's permit, depending on where you live. Where we're from, you gotta get your learner's permit at 14 before you get your actual license. 16 so let's go now this is a hard test for scooters but we can do it oh shit oh shit oh no okay how do you how do you beat this help i can't drive a scooter i'm gonna be very very careful i don't care if it takes an hour i need to beat this so i can so people can think i'm cool they'll be like whoa did you hear about the scooter girl Scooter Girl is very cool. No! 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 She's going wild! No! Now be very careful. You idiot. You can't even hit it with your knee? Come on. There's no way I'm going to be driving this perfectly in real life. Oh, wait, no, I, I didn't say that. Okay, what kind of... I don't know what my parents bought me, but this thing, like, it, it gets some serious, like, when you hit the gas, you just fly. Okay, come on. Yep, got it. You know, drive like an old lady. I guess that's the point of this, is just to teach you not to have that need for speed. Not to do that fast and furious drift kind of stuff. We're not doing that here. How am I gonna pick up the babes when I hit the frickin' gas? We're both just gonna die. Whoa! I can't see! I cannot- Hello? I can't see! Cherry blossoms can't be part of the driver's test. Okay, here we go. Whoa, how long is this test? The, the hard part about this is you can't cheat on it. We're at the finish line, guys. We got our... Driver's license? Well, that was- that was great. We've officially learned how to drive. Check us out. They didn't give me my license, but you know what? They can't catch me. And I'll probably be able to get someone to doctor one for me soon. So we are off to our new job. And because I did so well on my placement tests, which I cheated on, I am now a demolition expert. I've noted that it's, this is safe. Oh! Ah! Now this TV, it's not in a good spot. So you just knock it down. Now what is this? Who even called this art in the first place? Can it go? Can it get out? Thank you. Sleep. 
Thank you. Now both of these things, they look a lot better, a lot more like futuristic, like art. You maybe gotta watch your step because of all the glass shards, but hey, you smash the floating bottles, and then you go in here and you check YouTube. I knocked the keyboard on the ground, so this computer is useless. It's useless. Hopefully this isn't my house. All right, let's go outside. <laughs> this is how I leave. This is how we leave the house. When you're grown up, your parents don't have to tell you what to do. They Doorknobs. That's like, like such a 90s thing. Now, since I have my driver's license, might as well just hop in. Let's drive, baby. Go. Oh, man. My ignition does not look hot and fresh off the kitchen. It looks broken. Oh, I, I just realized you can charge up your hammer. Charging up big time. I gotta find something that I don't particularly like so I can use this charge. Where are you, annoying thing that I don't know? You. What the hell? Um, what? Hello? Is this place haunted? I'm really scared right now. Show yourself. Show yourself, Mr. Ghost. I didn't exactly learn in school whether ghosts exist or not, so I'm scared. Why is that chimney just floating in there? Die. It must be the ghost. Why do people go to school? They go to school to learn, and then they get a job to apply that knowledge, and they get their driver's license uh, to drive there, I guess. I didn't get my driver's license, so I took the bus, and I'm taking a new job today. Smashing things didn't really work out for me, so maybe fixing things will. I walk into the shop. It looks just like every other adult VR cafe in Philly. I mean, this is an adult place. I'm an adult, and I gotta do the dirty work since, you know... My last job didn't work out very well. The clerk who called in the job is standing at the counter. You recognize his voice as he talks over a hollow cassette of cyborg cucks. Oh, hey, I remember you from school. Aren't you the guy who got the bat to the head? Keep whacking him. Just whack him to death. Papa banana. He didn't answer, so I'm gonna look around the cafe. The Motherload VR Cafe specialized in providing patrons with erotic virtual reality trips. I mean, I guess this is a job of the future. <clears throat> But they offered a few other bits of more traditional entertainment. Okay, maybe something that my, my parents would watch? Let's talk to the clerk. The clerk has pink eye. <laughs> he always had it in school too, though. We're growing up. It's funny to see where people end up when you grow up. Hey buddy, I'm here to repair those VR units. That's what I do, I'm a specialist. The clerk ignores your hello, eyes glued to the footage of trash cans ramming each other. Trash cans, what do you mean? The VR cabinets are always in the back of these joints. Oh, okay. What are those? Excuse me, does your eye hurt? I guess I'll walk to the back of the cafe. <coughs> this is my first time taking an adult job in the adult world and the reality of it is kind of scary. At the back of the shop is a heavy curtain. You pull the curtain back to find a collection of old VR pods. One of the units has a sign that reads, out of service. Okay, so we're getting in there. Looks like there's some leaks going on here, here and there, but I'm an adult. I can take it. As you pull off the sign, you smell an odor of burnt plastic. These pods like to catch fire when too many wires get crossed. Okay, I can, I can fix that. Should be a simple job though. You fixed hundreds of these before. No. You know, I had an uncle that had one of these shops, so I, I know, I know what to do. I'm going to crack open the wire panel since the wire maybe is causing the burns. The panel opens with a few tugs. The wires are a little loose, but nothing that would cause a full smoke out. Okay, so let's check the control unit. These older models external control units get all kinds of crud on them. Can make the machines go real haywire. Some dumbass must have spilt his bubble tea over the cooling vent. Why would you take your bubble tea into this facility? It should be good for a test run after a wipe down. All right, so we cleaned up the bubble tea. That's not exactly part of my job description, but hey, sometimes you gotta flex a little bit to prove that you are worthy of the real world. You crawl inside the pod. Everything feels a little more humid. Humid? In these units. Sort of slippery. I'd like to go back to school, please. The headset flickers a menu into your eyes. Time to run your favorite test. Initiate test 002 Mile High Club. You're on board of an old 20th century airplane, packed pretty tight for first class. And there's Mario, the flight attendant, always looking sexy. Let's press the passenger assistance button. A beautiful flight attendant comes to you asking if you need any assistance. Before you answer, their hand grabs your inner thigh. Okay, am I gonna use this thing or am I gonna fix this thing? Bring their hand further up your thigh. Blech. Look deep into their eyes. Blech. Kiss them on the mouth. It's -a me, Mario. I can do that. Let's kiss them on the mouth. The entire world appears to freeze around you and an error message appears. 
must have overheated, but the reset button should have you out in the gym. Let's feel around for this reset button. I'm not really doing work right now, but I'm curious, you know? You finally hit the reset button, but instead of popping the pod's front hatch, the simulation changes and you find yourself floating naked in a pool of wind-up chatter teeth. <laughs> ah! Let's hit the reset button again. Oh! In the blink of an eye, you're bound by electrical tape as the sleek robotic dominatrix threatens you with inflatable toy hammers. I thought this was a back-to-school special! Let's hit the reset button again. You are then presented with a row of feet, hundreds of yards long. The feet's owners begin to beg you for a toe suckle. Okay, I think I'm gonna need a glass of water. The pleas begin to get louder and louder, turning into an erotic drone that is almost deafening. Suck my feet. Suck them. Suck them up! It's because I cheated on my exam, isn't it? It's karma! You appear in a golden hall with a giant tank of honey. You notice several tubes leading from the tank and into all of your major orifices. Excuse me? Am I getting probed by bees? You smell smoke beginning to rise inside your pod. Slap the reset button as hard as you can. No, I don't like this one! I don't like this one! A very friendly looking man poses sensually and asks you to draw them like one of your French girls. That's cute. Smoke continues to fill the pod. It's becoming very hard to breathe. Okay, can we stop holding the reset button? Yeah, let's kick at the pod door. Let's go! Before you can draft your masterpiece, you become surrounded in balloons. They begin to rub against your body, popping one by one. Ah! The pod's smoke is unbearable. I'm inhaling smoke. I can't breathe. Thought I was going to be picking up honeys on my scooter. Let's mash the reset button and scream for help. You rip the headset off as smoke fills your lungs. Just as you're about to black out, you see the pod hatch open from the outside. Fresh air hits you along with a tank's worth of fire extinguisher. <gasps> Let's have a deep breath. <gasps> the clerk looks pleased in his act of bravery and asks you through a tooth grit. Didn't you read the sign, asshole? I thought you got an A on that exam. What's wrong, you stupid? Let's consider a new line of work. <laughs> I guess the moral of this back to school special is to do it right the first time so you don't have to go back. There's nothing wrong in going back and fixing your mistakes. I've done that before, but you know what? Doing it right the first time has saved a lot of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoy going back to school, make some good decisions, hang out with some good friends. Uh, just ignore this video in general. If you enjoyed this video, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe because that gloomy subscribe button, a bit of a pick me up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.